Let's go. Hello, everybody. Today I have Sylvia with me again. Uh, she was a guest back on episode nine, and th that was released back in January. Now, prior to that, I spoke to Sylvia uh, through a Facebook interview, and that was even longer than when the podcast was released. So it's been a while since Sylvia was able to come on, update us, you know, through her journey since then. Uh, back then, we were discussing her using real estate to create wealth. And I'm sure she'll, she'll, I'm sorry, I'm sure she'll share some of that with us today. Um, Cause I would imagine that's something that she's still committed to and growing and doing everything. And so Sylvia, it's great to have you back and just jump right in and start sharing what might've changed in the past, I would say what, two years, maybe now, uh, that you see some growth in your journey, either through real estate or anything personally that you want to share with the audience? Um. Well, yeah, uh, there's been a lot going on, actually. <laughs> a lot of uh, things, ups and downs and stuff and things that are going on. Uh, but um, finally got myself moving in the positive direction. Uh, mm -hmm. We have, I had uh, two wholesales last year, which was really great. Uh, made my company legitimate then <laughs> okay you know we got uh we were able to do that i was able to help um an elderly lady uh sell her property to me and i sold it to a wholesaler but i also helped her um purchase a property and um i walked through everything with her and so um she was her and her daughter were very happy and gave me a great testimony which was really nice um, I also had another wholesale, which um, helped me with uh, connection with new uh, investors out closer to me. And uh, we got connected and still connected now, which is really great. And um, found a property that I couldn't actually purchase. Uh, it was a little too high for me. But since I had the contract, I offered it to them and I got a wholesale deal from it. Great. Great. So it was really, too. really good. Yeah. Uh, let's just touch on that first one where you said something about the elderly lady, lady and you're helping her out. How mm -hmm. did how did you feel helping that person out? Because I, I always hear stories, you know, wholesaling, your, you know, or whatever it could be. Right. You're, like, you're stealing from somebody. Now, I'm sure that's not the case. Um, and I'm sure she had something going on. And that's up to you if you want to share anything like that. But, you know, how, how did you feel doing that for that person? Well, I, I really loved helping her. Um, she was afraid of investors. Uh, I was connected through, um, she was a long time neighbor to my mom and dad uh, for over 30 years. And so um, her husband had passed away a couple of years back. And, um, you know, we walked through all the information, everything that needed to be done. She hadn't done anything on the house in like, 32 years. She mm -hmm. lived in that property for 50 years. So mm -hmm. she, she, there was a lot to be upgraded, updated. And, you know, just unfortunately, a lot of investors who have gone the wholesale route are not always with the most integrity and mm -hmm. have given a bad name to real estate um, investors. So I try to show her, this is not what we're trying to do. I'm here to help you, not hurt you. So we, we had, it was a back and forth for about a year and a half, uh, going back and forth, gaining her trust, showing her what I'm trying to do to do to help her. And, um, we did the investment. Um, we did the sale. We bought her property first. Then I have, you know, I helped her find her place, uh, movers. I helped her pack, <laughs> you know, it was just, it, the thing is you have to help people. You're not there to take their money. Uh, and and when you're helping people, you get paid for it, which is great. But the satisfaction is when you find that person happy. But, and, and it had to be a win-win situation. So it had to be a win for her, win for me, win for the investor. And which it did because then we then rented that property to someone who needed a place to live. And then so we helped another person in that whole process. So it came out to be a really good uh, experience. 
So, so and she she was really really happy. <laughs> that yeah, I could tell by how you're sharing the story, uh, how sh- happy she was. Um, so it came out to be like a win 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 win, right? You know, I mean, there's a lot mm-hmm. of wins going on in there. So she she was happy to sell the place to you for the price that you asked for because it helped her move on, and you were happy to take it over for whatever reason that was, right. wholesaling, renting, or whatever, and then you wound up wholesaling it and renting it out to that person. I guess that person rented it out to somebody else then? Is that? Yes, that's how it worked out. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. so so an investor, another investor was able to buy it, rent it out, and his portfolio or hers decided Her portfolio. To grow, would grow. Yeah, that's awesome. So um, what, what else do you have going on, you know, besides those two? Um, Right. I'm still um, I'm still um, looking for enrollments for students who want to learn real estate investing. That's always on the table. I really encourage people to get the proper education for it. Um, mm-hmm. And I believe that I love my education from my group. So I think it's the best. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> and, maybe I'm biased, maybe I'm biased but, but I love it. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. So <laughs> you so you touch base with a lot of other investors all the time? Yes, I do. There's a lot of investors in our community. Um, I've met a lot of investors out of our community um, and in different states, believe it or not, um, through um, our groups. Uh, I'm also in the Darren Hardy group now. So I connected with people there in real estate investing. Um, Mm -hmm. So it's been really a really good connection, learning experience, um, finding out the different laws in different states and stuff of that nature. Uh, based on live real estate investors in the area, practicing real estate investors. Okay. So that's been good. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It sounds like it. Uh, so your, your network was really small in the beginning and then you jumped into this educational system, right? And then that grew it from there. Yeah, um, exactly. How important do you think it is to have your network, you know, whether it's this business or any, any anything going on? Uh, believe it or not, network is the most important thing, I think, because if you don't have a network, you don't have anything, uh, really, it's hard to, um, whatever business that you're in connect with people. And if, if you're just doing it on, like, say, even when you do it through internet or when you do it through a social media or whatever, you have to have a connection. Mm-hmm. And that connection starts promoting your network of people that you talk to. Um, relationships are important and it's one of the five currencies that we talk about in our group, in our, in our, in our education process and stuff of that nature. We have the five currencies and that's your relationships, your knowledge, your financial, you know, your credit. And a lot of it makes you grow. And the most important, I think, is those relationships because people don't want to do business with people they don't know or they don't trust. So working towards gaining the respect and trust of other people so that they do business with you, regardless if it's real estate investing or buying a cookie, it it doesn't matter. Uh, You have to have that connection, that network of people. Yeah, I I agree. So my network's been growing astronomically since doing all this. Um, Mm -hmm. But now your educational system that you're involved with, I'm sure there's a price tag to it and we don't have to go into the cost of anything, you know, because everything should have a price tag to it and it should be somewhere where somebody can afford it, but it's also a push to pay for it to keep on going to this educational system. That, that's what I'm calling it and uh, grow and network. Right. So my question is, what are your thoughts on that? You know what I mean? Like, Do you think people should always pay something, you know, at a high price sometimes to get, you know, the network or to get the, um, the coaching or whatever, whatever it is that they're paying for? I think you get what you pay for. That's the way I look at it. So if you pay high amount of money for the education of any kind, Mm -hmm. um, you're you're gonna you have to do something about it and you could pay for all the education that you want but if you're not willing to do action and put it in implement the the information implement the work 
uh, do the hard work to get it done, uh, the education is not going to be worth anything to you. But if you really want something that is in your realm that you want to learn, that you're going to implement and make it for you to become profitable, not only for yourself, but for, to help others, then it's it's well worth it. It depends on what you're looking at. And, and, and in my case, I love the education that I have. Um, and uh, it's just not real estate investing, but it's financial education. It's mindset. It's marketing. It's all kinds of information that I can implement in my business. And I get it from the people that have done it previously, who have done it successfully, who have done it who failed at it at times, you know what I mean? So you learn from their failures and um, not to say that we're not going to fail because that's just part of life. But if you decide to pay for your education and whatever it is, be prepared to do the hard work that comes with it. Yeah. And, and so you pay X amount of dollars and whoever's in there is also paying the same amount of dollars, you know, and outside of whoever the coaches could be, those people that are willing to pay that high ticket price are some great individuals that you need to meet too. Right. So you're all connected right. in one area. Yeah. Yep. Um, so you're, you, so you find yourself going back to this educational system, right? Cause you, you bought into it. You, you had this network and everything's going well for you. Right? Absolutely. Um, every year the, everything changes, uh, mm -hmm. new tax laws, new real estate laws, new everything. So if once they upgrade the, the classes that you specifically want to learn in, um, I can go back there and then just click on it and redo the class and yeah. find out all the new information. And, um, then I can apply it to my business for the, for the next year or for the following year, depending on what the changes are and how long they're going to last. Mm -hmm. that's good you know that's, yeah it's, it's very very important yeah is there other uh networks or educational systems you're looking into um well i am actually still finishing i'm finishing off my bachelor's degree uh in small business and entrepreneurship at devry so i am I, it's my own accomplishment that i want to do so mm -hmm. Uh, I'm finishing that off and I'm also learning a lot through uh, the Darren Hardy uh, courses um, through all his stuff, the Insane Productivity, Hero's Journey. Uh, I just finished E-FastPass, uh, which is really great. <laughs> okay. And um, and and I'm in the Darren Hardy Club. So uh, learning a lot from a lot of the um, captains and um, the the mentors and the speakers there learning a lot from them learning a little now that I'm getting more involved I'm learning mm -hmm. about chat GTP and IA and it's a little bit above my head but I'm getting there <laughs> yeah. yeah you gotta play with it right just yeah it's just like everything else you just gotta try it try it out and then eventually you figure it out and you'll move on um so is there anything specific that really stood out to you from either that those educate you know that educational system or the other one that that you're involved in you know, um, I think the what I look for in in educational system is the growth. Mm -hmm. How am I going to grow? How am I going to become the person that I want to become and portray to everyone around me? Um, so that is what I've learned from any type of education. Uh, so as long as I can grow personally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. Um, those would be those, that's the key to any kind of education, I think, yeah. you know, and, and as long as you can rinse and repeat, that's important. Very important. Um, what would, I'm sure there was a point in time that maybe you, you weren't involved in anything, you know, <laughs> trying to learn and grow and become better. It, it, was there something that you can remember that was like a push that said, Hey, I got to do this. I want to do this. You know, this is, this is why I'm jumping into whatever it is you're involved with now. Yeah. Um, I lost my job. <laughs> well, that's, that's a good start. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been about, um, I want to say five, six years ago. Okay. And I was in the healthcare, you know, industry for over 22 years. And um, I got 
laid off because they discontinued my position. And um, I was without a job. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, that I got to do something because I I'm not a homebody. I I have to go out. Okay. <laughs> I get so crazy if I stay home. So uh, I started um, looking into ways of getting into my dream of becoming a real estate investor, and that's when I got involved with this group. So it's I, been I, really great. Yeah, I, and it's amazing what that little push does or big push, you know what I mean? That, you know, they motivate you to do something that you've been, I don't know, have you, were you dreaming about, about it before? Oh yeah. I've wanted to be a real estate investor since I was in my early twenties. Okay. I'm now in my fifties. So, there you go. so it's, it's never too late to start something. <laughs> oh, never, never. The only yeah. time it's too late is when you think it's too late. <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah. And then that's a mind trick. Yeah. 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 Uh, is there anything else, you know, between our last episode that we, you you were on and and now that you know could have changed, you know, that did change, um, or you know, if you want to share something like you you see something coming up in the near future for yourself, you know, uh, something you along know, those lines. Um, yeah, uh, you know, for me, I think um, there's been a lot of changes in the last few years after COVID, during COVID, you know, all that kind of stuff, um, and I realized that. Um, it, it's just taking the steps that I needed to take uh, to push you out of the comfort zone that I, you know, I push me out of my comfort zone and um, talk to people outside of the realms that I'm in. So that's mm -hmm. how I got connected with a lot of the people out in different areas, different states. And I think that um, coming up in the near future, I'm hoping to build my team uh, and, and uh, make sure that I have the values and, and and the the sensitivity of helping people get to where they want to go based on their values and on their perspective their visions but that they can see themselves part of mine does that make sense it does make sense yeah i get it that's great that's awesome i'm glad you're going to continue to keep on going and Definitely. i'm glad that you you know you had some success since you know I don't, you might have had a you might have had a few prior to when you were coming on the first time i can't remember but you know, but you share these stories of what you experienced since then, at least. And uh, yeah, I uh, appreciate you coming on. And, you know, you guys can check out episode nine and uh, you can connect with Sylvia. There's all her, I'll have all her stuff in this episode as well. And uh, you can reach out to her and she'd be more than happy to talk to you. I'm sure, you know, about this or mindset or anything like that. So thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate you having me on. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Let's and see. take care. You too. Bye.